Hey y'all, I'm back. Um, this is, I believe, video four of my BTS behind the scenes of hosting a pop-up shop. I thought this would be really beneficial for those who are on the other side um, of hosting and just vend um, or those who are thinking about hosting your own pop-up shop, but you just want to know more information about it. Um, so this is video four. So if you look at the previous video that I posted, it was just behind the scenes of the venue. And my husband and I went to go scope out how many vendors we can actually get in there. So I said, um, I can do 12 to 15 vendors. Um, so that's where we're at with that. Now, as far as marketing, I've been heavy in the marketing, at least I would say the last four to five days online. Um, I also printed out some flyers. I printed out 250 flyers and I probably have maybe 75 or so left. I've been giving out flyers to people who I interact with. I just keep them in my bag or my purse um, when I'm having small talk with people or, um, you know, just whatever. Or um, when I go to certain places and they have billboards for um like community billboards and things like that or i'll leave a stack at the coffee shop that i go to you know different things like that um i've been to the mall i've handed them out i went to the gym i've handed them out just like you know when i have small interactions with people i have something to give to them in my in their hand um i also have eventbrite to help market so currently i only have 32 registrations which is fine because if you've ever done events, you know, the bulk of your registrations come at the beginning and at the end, right? So they just sprinkle in, in the middle. And right now I'm in the middle. I have about 17 days until the pop-up shop. Okay. So I still have a little less than three weeks, but that's still plenty of time for me to market. So on top of having the event, right on top of, um, my flyers that I've been giving out. I've been doing, I've been really heavy. I'll say the last three to four days on um, organic marketing on my social media accounts. So my personal Facebook account, my business Facebook account, as well as um, my Instagram account. I've tinkered in um, TikTok a little bit. I'm not really a TikToker, but you know, why not? I just posted, you know, post some there, here and there. Um, and so the vendors have been coming in. So what I'm going to do soon is I'm going to create some social media, uh, promo vids. I've had the vendors send me like pictures and, um, I had them send, send me pictures of some of their products. And so I'm going to create some promo videos with their stuff. Um, what else? So today, what my goal is has been and I just got the message while we're sitting here that I was approved um for my Facebook ads so my fa when I run Facebook ads it also goes through um Instagram so I did set up an awareness ad I only want to do awareness ad because I want it to reach as many people as I can I did set the settings to just my area. So Austell, Douglasville, Villa Rica, Mableton, Austell, um, Marietta, I have it set to go there and to target women and to target women 30 and up because I've as many pop-up shops as I've been to, I only see my age crowd and older. So um, I made sure to put those specifics on there an awareness ad. I have a low budget. I do not have a big budget for ads, but the point is that they're on and it's going to help enhance when I do my organic marketing. Because when I go and I create posts and people like them or they interact with me online, they'll most likely see the ads that I have going, whether I am have a low budget or not, okay? So I am running the ads through my business page and I also have boosted posts through my personal page so I am doing everything I can to bring traffic and I still have a little less than three weeks I'm feeling really good 
I'm feeling really great about it. Um, I'm also going to relay, make sure I'm relaying, and it was on the vendor form when my vendor signed up, that they should be promoting the event as well because this is a collaborative effort. Yes, I am hosting, um, and I'm going to do all I can do to get traffic there. However, you know, it's a collaborative effort. We all have to put in our piece. A pop-up shop is not like a regular store that is always there and people know to come. You have to drum up traffic, okay? You have to drum up traffic, so it's a collaborative effort. But I'm doing everything that I can, and I'm going to continue to do everything that I can to get um, traffic coming to our pop-up shop because I'm vending, right? I'm not making any um, profits off of these vendor fees. The vendor fees t are really just paying for the venue. Um, they're not really paying for anything else. I'm paying for the promo. I'm paying for um, the flyers, the, the um, Facebook ads. I'm paying for, you know, banners and whatever else I need to that comes to my brain to drum up traffic so we can all win because if traffic is slow, I lose and my people lose that have paid me to come here and I don't like to lose. So let's just settle that right there. So if you are in the Austell, Mableton, Atlanta area and you would love to come out and support me, come out and support local vendors that have put their blood, sweat and tears into making these events happen and promoting their products and creating brand awareness, please come out and support September 28th at Richdale Studios, 2741 uh, Veterans Memorial Highway and I still all right, y'all, I'll see you in the next video. If you have any questions, please leave it below. If you've made it this far in the video, go ahead and put a wine glass emoji down in the comments because, you know, I could use one right now. All right, y'all, see you in the next video.